So it was October 29th, 1984. 1984, guys. The Raiders won the Super Bowl that year, 38 to 9. The Detroit Tigers beat the San Diego Padres 4 to 1 in the World Series. The very first mass market computer that employed a graphic user interface, otherwise known as the Apple Macintosh computer, was launched in 1984. At $2,500, which was a lot at that point in time. So this is the very beginning of Michael Jordan's career. And as you guys now know, thanks to The Last Dance, uh, this is the Chicago Bulls, the traveling cocaine circus that's been talked about for so many years. So this is Jordan's rookie year, and he really doesn't have much help here. Milwaukee Bucks, they came into the game with a 57-36 and 36 lifetime advantage against the Bulls. He had Terry Cummings, he was a great player. They had Paul Pressey, who was a three-time All-Defensive player. And, of course, Sidney Moncrief, man. Hall of Famer, five-time All-NBA, five-time All-Defensive, five-time All-Star, two-time Defensive Player of the Year. If you go back and watch any of those old Bucks games, and I'm not just talking about against the Bulls, when Sidney Moncrief was out there in his prime, fighting through screens and locking a lot of guys up all around the league, it was an event, man. Like, the crowd would go nuts. You know, it, 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 Sidney Moncrief's defense was a real big deal at the time. And both Sidney Moncrief and Michael Jordan ended up on the All-NBA second team. Sidney Moncrief was all defensive first team. But I'm sorry, just based off watching Michael and Sidney Moncrief play each other, I thought Michael was the better defender as a rookie. And I think over time, for people... uh for the uninitiated. The film speaks for itself. But as you would expect from that era, man, this was a very physical game. You had a big old school hit in this game as you always seem to have had back then. But this was such a significant game. And it was really a sign of things to come. What the future held. You know what Michael was gonna end up doing over and over and over again in his career. And no, I'm not just talking about this being the first game that Michael Jordan went over 30 points in his career, in his third game of his career, by the way. Third game. But for the first time in MJ's career, he took the game over on both ends of the court. Remember, man, this supporting cast was really bad. So in games like this, the deck is stacked against him. And don't get me wrong, the deck was stacked against him during the championship years, too. The weight that Michael Jordan had to carry during those years was incredible. It was ridiculous. But yeah, for the first time in his career, man, Big drives to the basket in crunch time. Big turnaround fadeaway jumpers in crunch time. And the thing about this 37-point game, this wasn't just like some back-and-forth game where it got towards the end of the game and you realize, oh, the rookie has 37. No, he earned it. And he scored 22 of his 37 points in the fourth quarter. That's right, 22 of his 37 in the fourth quarter. Took over the game. The Bulls lose without that. And MJ willed the Bulls to the win. This Bucks team was no joke, man. They went on to win 59 games that year. They ended up eliminating the Bulls in the playoffs. So this isn't like your run-of-the-mill opponent. This was against one of the best teams in the world at the time. You guys are going to see a lot of empty seats in Old Chicago Stadium, okay? According to the records, there were a little over 9,000 fans in attendance, right? You are going to see a lot of empty seats, but you will also see fans as well who are really fired up. But again, man, in this game, you can really see MJ trying to adjust to the physical play of the NBA. This is back when it was called the No Boys Allowed League. You know, when the NBA was more physical than college, right? You can see MJ get tired, man. You can see him push through it. And in just his third game in his career, think about that. He was terrorizing a 59-win team on both ends of the court. 22 points in the fourth quarter. MJ was a killer, man. And for the Chicago Bulls, they will have in the pivot jumping center, Caldwell Jones, who is seven feet tall, surrounded by Woolridge, Johnson, Wapley, and Jordan. So we're at to play basketball here in the first quarter of play. The Bulls going right to left, and the Bucks have the tip, and they will advance it from there. We are underway here from the Chicago Stadium as the Bucks have the first opportunity to do something. Montreal and the Bucks, of course, with all those great years when they had Jabbar, that's where they really fattened up that series from what I remember, Red. They're a dominating team in the early and mid-70s. Long shot by Jordan. Ties it. 
Michael Jordan, I think, Red is a little bit better shooter than a lot of people uh, gave him credit for, perhaps. Moncrief, a long one, answers it. And we have an end-to-end -end game right off the bat. Bulls will be trying to avenge some of what you just saw there. Nice left-handed shot. Hyenas, Pivot George. We will see Brewer and McKeskey also in there. Good steal. The ball came loose. Jordan, Watley, two on three. Oh, a great block by Cummings out of bounds. Beautiful help. Uh, that time we saw Jordan come in with the left hand and coming over the top is the Chicago native from Carver, Terry Cummings with the block. Dunleavy gets called. Coach Don Nelson. Ooh. An offensive board, you've got to keep him off. Offensive foul does not count as a team foul. Lob for Jordan inside. Easy for him. Uh, he took the he, Mr. Defense, Sid Moncrief, downtown with him. Boy, Jordan's so tough to play. You were talking about it before the game, before we went on tonight, Red, because they can play him both inside and out. 10 of 13. There's the score, all tied up. About three minutes old, first quarter. In the paint, Watley. Jordan. Driving hard. Oh, what a move as he went to the opposite hand, and he has six. He does that so well. Bulls lead it by a pair. He has that kind of pump motion effect, and it really freezes the defenders. Feed in for press. He tries to feed it. It hit traffic and bounced off of the glass. Jordan, three on two, driving. Drops it. Oh. ridge blocked. Foul called as he was driving to the He hook. took it off the rebound, and this is what he can do with it. He's got the team spread out. Now, coming in, you can't see him. Orlando Woolridge comes out of the corner down the baseline, goes up to slam it, but Pressy reaches in and grabs him. You get the ball. That's what Magic Johnson does so well. He catches that ball off the rebound and creates the break. Not on the money. And steal. A, and a steal. Jordan comes up with it. It's a three-on-three. Three. Jordan driving. Lost it. He tried to go between his legs. Cummings. Now Jordan stole it back and was called for the foul. And it is the Bulls on top by five. Bulls have it back, leading by four. And dished out to Watley from Jordan. Tried to go in there. Three-second violation. A couple of Bulls pass for the Bucks. Fields and Cummings. Lister up front. Stolen away. Battle for it. Foul called to Moncrief. Trying to recover. To the moment. Kind of a motion offense going here. Fields goes in traffic. And Hodges takes his first shot. And he drills it. Bill Hazen and Johnny Kerr with greetings for you on Sports Vision. And... Uh, we're happy to tell you that we have our most exciting running nearly as much this year as they have in, in previous years. They seem to be more of a setup team. Jordan blocked the pass out of bounds. It was intended for Moncrief along the baseline. They got a Ridgeman. They also had... Uh... Oh, here we go. Yeah, Jordan with a steal. Ahead to Woolridge. She plays it up for the basket. Take the lead right back by a point. Moncrief with Jordan on his side. We'll have a timeout coming up. Don Nelson calls for it. It's Corazine in the game now for Caldwell Jones. Shows you how short the Bulls can be if they do not have Jordan back in the game. Here he comes now for Steve Johnson. So that'll put him in the back and put uh, take his total up. point production from Saturday night right there with six. And it is now the Bucks and Bulls tied up at 25. Jordan in traffic. Kicks it out. West Matthews a long one. No, Woolridge tried for the jam and missed it. Rod Higgins. He'll dribble it, goes to Jordan, driving on the baseline. They double-team Jordan immediately, trying to hem him in. Sidney Green in traffic. Boy, he had a jump shot there and just couldn't uh, couldn't take it. He won. Wojcicki through the foul. Jordan double-teamed in a corner. He got up over the top of Higgins. Boy, that's a real mismatch there. Matthews on the other end lays it up. Basket for play, but watch the pass here. Michael Jordan looks away. Rim and in. Beautiful pass by Michael. Fond to say, Red, that was a perfect pass right on the money. You really saw just how tough it is. Greg Hodges has been, uh, you know, he may be a real find in that trade with uh, San Diego. He may be a real extra bonus. Feed in heavy traffic. It bounced around. It was too hot for Higgins to handle as Jordan blasted it in there. Funny shot, you know, a little bit of a shot to it. The ball moves sideways. Not nice with him. Higgins to Matthews. Covered by Hodges. Jordan in the paint. Drops it for Corzine. And he was going, getting ready for the rebound. And that pass caught him by surprise. They've got to remember, that the Bulls will find this out, that Jordan is not a selfish ball player. He'll get inside that paint and still look to pass the ball off. And I'll air tonight. Just what he is. Green. There he is. Uh, shot by Jordan. And he rolls it up and in. Rattles it down. He has eight points. So Michael Jordan. On the move. 
And that gives the Bulls back to a one-point lead. All right, here they're doing. Uh, Moncrief setting plays up on the board. They're trying to go one-on-one. -on -one. He lost the ball. They're still uh -oh. away. Laid out for Jordan. This should be an easy two. Kaboom! And that's what they came to see, didn't they? Let's go and roar here in the stadium. Jordan just rocked the cradle for his 10th point, and the Bucks are going to call time. Up off the bench was Don Nelson after that one. Moncrief got his pocket picked, and they paid for it at the other end, the Bucks did. The Bulls on right, top by a steal three. Now from Moncrief. They tried to go one-on-one. -on -one. They get it out to Michael Jordan. Everybody in the gym stopping to realize what's going to happen. Here he comes with a cup. Slam, jam. Thank you, man. <laughs> <laughs> nice Whoop. and easy. First. Bulls like me as well. They like him very much. Oh. There it is. Uh oh he held him. Greavy held him. They played the alley-oop. <laughs> bench to lead their scores off the bench. That's adding six inches to your lineup by bringing Brewer on and uh, Mishaw going to the bench. 7-3 for 6-9. Jordan has get 7-1. Oh, yeah. They have a, definitely one of the biggest lineups now, in the league. If they bring Lister in, they've got the trio. Well, now their power forward, Terry Cummings, becomes their small forward. Cummings kicks it across to Greeby. Looks for a target. Huh? Missed shot. Uh, nice tip effort in there by Jordan. He got loose underneath and went way up there and was fouled from the back. Jordan at the line. Jordan continues to knock down free throws like they're going out of style. He is now, for the year, 14 out of 15. He did miss that one. Jordan stole it and knocked it out of bounds. Good try to get it back. Jordan already with 13 points in the half. And as he get the ball to Michael Jordan. Now he's got Kevin Grevy on him. Get him the ball. Let him do a few things. There he is. Kicks it out to Woolridge. In heavy traffic. Goes up. He was hammered. Hit right in the head. All right, the Bulls are going to have to learn this uh, to get it to the young man. He's got Grevy on him. They took out Sidney Moncrief, the defensive player here. Now, look at this. He's got two men on him, sailing out of bounds. He gives you an easy two points to the free throw line if you can convert. Yeah, Brewer got the five. points. The operators, the guys who can do it. And get Woolridge down there where he can get you some points. Hodges, low feed McKeskey. He's in there deep. Jordan blocked the shot right out of bounds. Steve Johnson held his ground beautifully, and Jordan came in from the back. All right, McKeskey looking at his man, and watch Jordan come in and just wipe it out. Mm. It's the Bucks by three. Matthews yeah, yeah. tried, not yet. It's too early in the game. Inbounds, Jordan, he fires, he hits. Michael Jordan again for the Bulls, and he has 15 points. For the half, first half of play with 4.25 left in his game. Went down to watch his shot. It's going to be a swing at the ball here. All right, he just swings at the ball and catches him across the face. And until Cummings went down with the ball, the official had no idea what had happened. Michael Jordan leaves. Now Higgins comes in. The Bulls trail by one, 45-44. So Jordan is on the bench. Rod Higgins replaces at Chicago Stadium. They just had a little announcement. We knew, of course, earlier that David Stern, the commissioner of the NBA, was going to be in the stands tonight. And we should remind everybody, too, you want to stick around at halftime because David will be the Johnny Kerr's guest uh, here at halftime. Any Anybody in any office gets booed when they're in the booth. That's right. They did boo David Stern for the record. Walridge driving. And Brewer, I believe. And it has been a very, very competitive first half of play. You see the Bulls players, including their newest player, walking off in the first half. Our score at the half, the Milwaukee Bucks leading by a point. One of the Bulls players appeared to go flying, and Jordan almost stole it, and he got a very easy basket out of it. Good job. Bukeski. Out to Moncrief. Our shot, I think, was blocked by Jordan. I think Jordan got a hand on it in the air. Right, here's the shot missed by Moncrief. Ball. Here is Matthews. Dunleavy's going to give him room to shoot out there. Here's Jordan. Penetrating. Throws it up. Oh, it almost went in. Here come the Bucks. Three on four. Dunleavy coming in the corner. Sidney Moncrief went up. Basket! An unbelievable shot. You heard the, the hand slap. Jordan's fourth foul. There's the pass by uh, Terry Cummings. He goes down, hesitates, goes up hard, and uh, Juwan Holden went up through the basket. That should that should be too automatic, but uh, the ball is hit by Michael Jackson from the back. You saw the hand go through the net. Moncrief puts that third one in. So now you have seven 
three, seven feet one, and six nine across the Bucks front line. Bulls have scored uh, as Coach Don Nelson looks on. Brewer and Sidney Green will be stepping in. There's Michael Jordan coming back on the floor now for the back Bulls. Off the board, they're not going to set any fast break records, but they're beefy, aren't they? Here's Montreal stealing it from Jordan. No part of that. Bucks by nine. And the Bulls find themselves on the ropes here a little bit. Almost stolen. The Bulls have to go back and reload now. Ten to nine seconds. George need a basket quickly. Six seconds on the shot clock. Jordan misses. Oldham tipped it in. Or a uh, Woolridge rather on the tip. It's a nine-point Milwaukee lead here going into the quarter. In that and quarter. Bulls outscored, were outscored by the Bucks, 31 to 23. The Bulls in their pivot have a grand total of two points between Dave Corzine and Caldwell Jones tonight. That has not helped the cause. Pressy kicks it. Hodges, a head fake. Nope. Lowridge up there for the rebound. Kicks it out. Jordan inside. Cross court pass, and Jordan puts it up and in. Jordan now has 17 points. He went scoreless in the third quarter, much of which he sat on the bench. And that's what happens when Jordan isn't able to get in. The Bulls really missing Quentin Daly. They are indeed. They miss his firepower. You, you expect to give you a lot of scoring off the bench. It's not here. Quentin. Let's it go just as the clock expired. The rebound, Pressy. And the Bulls get, have to play defense. Orlando just driving to his left, trying to get it. And the Bulls have cut it to a five-point game. Cummings driving. Pressy. Lester. Moncrief with a head fake. Tries to get around Jordan in heavy traffic. You take a look at it. Shot goes up by Moncrief. He misses it underneath his. Steal by Jordan. Away. Jordan coming up the court, driving all the way. Stolen out of his hands. A clean steal, says Mike Mathis. Two on one, three on one. And hammered as he was driving was Moncrief. Steve Johnson took him out with a hammer blow. All right. And that's what you have to do be able to take a guy so he doesn't get the layup. Now, not hurt him, but don't give him that little duck shot. Johnson goes up and makes sure that that ball comes down, and uh, but they're playing without Quinn Daly tonight. Woolridge. Here's the Jordan. The ball taken away from him. Moncrief driving, going in, and a nice move. He has 22. You know, Moncrief is guarding Michael Jordan, and he's just anticipating the pass that's going to come to him, and, they're, and the, the Bulls are just laying the ball right out there for the steal. Indeed. He's stepping up in the passing lane, and he's picking those slow passes off that's what makes him the all defensive player of the year indeed six points the bucks lead jordan oh and pressy ran into him here's lowridge driving lays it up under cummings and again the lead six points for milwaukee we're down under seven minutes remaining in the bulls we'll take a timeout out of 
seven out of eight. He's only missed one out of nine attempts tonight. Cressy out front. Dunleavy. Down low to Lester. Look out. He blew the slam. It was blocked. He blew the slam. It was blocked. I think Walridge blocked it. Walridge jammed that one up at rim level. And the fans showing signs of really whooping it up. Jordan in the paint. Goes for it. Gets it. Training baskets here, the Bucks with a two-point lead, 102 to 100. Three minutes left. Look at Montreal get loose under there. LeBeau is stripped away. Out of bounds, the ball's got it. He took Michael Jordan underneath. You see the excitement here. Here's a kid coming off a winning Olympic team. He's brought some spur to this club. Listen to the fans. Take him on here. Bulls can tie it with a basket. Jordan's going to try to get it for him. Kicks it across to Watley. To Jones. Foul. Let's go. Watley took one step in. Watch him draw some people here. Watley draws the big man, listens to him. It goes to Caldwell Played Jones. The CBA for a while, coached at the CBA while he was playing. But hung in there tough. Here's Jordan going for the tie. And Jordan, Michael Jordan with 28 points. And the Bulls have tied at 104. Will they be denied tonight? Eight points in the Bucks lead by two of the minutes 50. Mr. Dependable, Sidney Montre comes through with a pair. Here's Jordan now in the fourth court. They double team it. Picked across to Watley. Driving. Didn't like anything he saw. Here's Green. Ten seconds to shoot. Woolrace. To Jordan. He'll take the shot. Isaac. Michael Jordan with 30 points. This is his best output as a pro. 30 points. It beats his high of 21. We're tied again at 106. Both uh, season highs for both Woolridge and Jordan. Terry Cummings with a tough turnaround shot has 24. Oh, man. He's the guy who put the nail in the uh, coffin in Milwaukee a couple nights ago. Here's Watley down the lane. Driving. Oh, oh the, the ball, ball is in. The ball was in, and Green touched it on the rim. Sidney Green trying for the follow. And now it's a two-point Bucks lead. Here's Chrissy in a drive. No. Lester missed the slam, and the ball have it. They can still tie it. Here's Montreal, or uh, Jordan driving with oh! Oh! Unbelievable! Woo! Unbelievable shot by Jordan! How in the world did he do that? Holy mackerel! Can you believe it? Look at the traffic he goes through. He gets hammered, slides it up off the glass. And look at him, he wants it! Holy mackerel, what a shot! Another look at it. The rookie from North Carolina. The rookie is playing like an all-pro. And I'll tell you, if that didn't bring everybody to their feet, Red, I know you were on your feet. Holy wow. Hell. Well, I'll tell you something. I was there when Dr. J played his first game. Yeah. In Virginia. A little more right. veteran, a better touch on the outside. Lester has fouled out with 47. What a job from the line for Jordan tonight. And one more. And the Bulls have fought back. They lead it. They have a 33-point performance from Jordan. 40 seconds left. Here's Cummings, a tough shot. He nails it. Cummings with 26 on a standing jumper under heavy pressure. 35 seconds left. This may be like the other night where the last team to have it. Jordan! Oh, and the foul ball, he took it into it. Oh. Right, he takes it down the middle. They try to one, two, three guys, four, five. Everybody takes a shot off the glass and in and there he is again give me the two jordan also went on to hit two more free throws to give him 37 points and ice the game so there you guys go just an incredible performance by the greatest player of all time look at the effort it took on both ends of the court ladies and gentlemen not just a guy who got good looks and made his shots that night now we're talking about someone giving effort max effort from beginning to end and he willed the Bulls to a win, just like he would go on to will the Bulls to six championships. So really, this performance by MJ was just a sign of things to come. Michael Jordan played okay in his first two games when you consider the fact that he was a rookie. But October 29th, 1984 was the night that Chicagoans who were paying attention got drawn in to watching the greatest player who ever played played basketball. 
That was the night we all knew. Set your VCRs. But no, nah, man, this was really the night it started. Flight 23 took off. 22 points in the fourth quarter in his third game as a rookie. That's goat business. 